But uh, not everyone gets uh, a second chance uh, in high school or uh, in life. Um, but uh, 12 beautiful dogs born in Texas just do. And their second chance will actually start here in Jackson, Michigan. That's right. And Claudia Sella is in the studio with us today to explain how these puppies got so lucky. Yeah, so like you guys have said, that not everybody gets a second chance to live or to let alone live a better life than the one you had before. But with the help of one local animal shelter and one pilot, 12 little pups get a new leash on life. Take a look. Is that the plane? Yes. Yeah. There was nothing out of the ordinary on this flight from Texas to Michigan. It was all standard procedure, at least for pilot Frank Maresca. Because for some pilots, filling your cargo storage full of puppies is certainly not ordinary. They make a little bit of noise when you first take off, and uh, but normally they go to sleep and they're pretty quiet for the most part. Flying puppies across the country isn't typical for a pilot. But Frank wouldn't have it any other way. This is what he does for a living. Yeah, this is my full-time job. I fly for Dog is My Co-Pilot for a nonprofit 501c3 organization. So we have two of these aircraft, and uh, we spend uh, most of the year hauling dogs. It's very nice to fly with all these puppies. I mean, uh, the dogs are very excited about it. The people are very excited about it, too. He's kind of like a puppy delivery service. Only here, he's delivering them from an overcrowded shelter so they can find their forever home. Dog is my co-pilot airlifts animals from shelters in California, New York, New Mexico, Oklahoma, and Texas. It's a long flight, but making that trip could be the difference between life and death for these pups. In these states, pets have a higher risk for euthanasia. This is the third time they've dropped off a load of puppies to Jackson. Well, I really enjoy it. It's very satisfying. It's a good line of work. You're helping out both the animals. You're saving a lot of animals. To date, we've saved over 26,000 animals. And, uh, but you also help people out a lot because they get companionship and something to care for. Now for the first time, these little guys have a chance to be puppies. All they have to do now is wait here at Jackson Animal Shelter to meet their human. The shelter in Athens is super overpopulated and they run the risk of euthanizing healthy adoptable pets. And while we have plenty of pets here in Jackson County, we also don't have a great variety um, like the ones that they have in Texas. So it's kind of a partnership that really benefits both facilities. We're offering animals that we don't usually see in Michigan to people for adoption and they're able to save the lives of these animals that otherwise may not have a chance. All 12 puppies have been looked at by a vet and bathed. It's a win-win. You know, like I said, we can offer some really great dogs available for adoption. We want to encourage people to adopt versus buying from, you know, perhaps like a mill dog. Um, and this is a great way to offer dogs that people may not be able to find otherwise. And we're also saving their lives. So I feel like we're also we're helping our community. Um, we're also helping their community and saving the lives of these dogs. And with a face like that, it's only a matter of time before they find their forever homes. Yeah, so like you saw, they're super cute, and I'm sure that they'll get scooped up in no time. But if you think that you could be their lucky owner, I'd head over to the Jackson Animal Shelter before it's too late. Oh my gosh, if that does not make you smile or feel good on this Friday, I don't know what will. I thank you for that, Claudia. Yes.